Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone love into this. Your mom in the fucking sand. We should, real quick, we should just set up the fact that we've all been blown away by uh, Norman uh, Summerton. Norm Summerton. Mm. He is a BDSM um, hardcore guy in Calgary, Canada. He has the tit cups. Um, everyone's been fascinated. Fifty-five by years he's been practicing. Fifty-five years he's which been in lifestyle. Real. He and I have been DMing. He's been very nice. He's following. He's been watching podcast clips. Uh, has seen us all talk about him. There he is now. He uh, <laughs> Miss Talon's cuckold property, and he's got the big, enormous pig with a pig snout on the front of his bald head. So you know that he's pig. And we right now are going to get on the line with the tattoo artist who did that tattoo, who knows Norm well. Could you pull up the uh, number again on the uh, breakdown? Thank you. Now, I didn't realize there was red in that tattoo until now because we only get to see parts of it. We don't get to see the full tat. Yeah, I didn't know. There's, there's red in there? There's red. Hmm. Um, and it looked really fresh, obviously, because he just had it done there. Are you, there. Ready? Are you I'm, ready for I'm, the call? What's his name? This Derek. guy, Derek. Okay, yeah. cool. Where he's in Calgary. I'm sorry. Yep. It's a good song. Hello, Derek. Hi. Hey, man. How you doing? Uh, this is Tom Segura. I'm here with Christina P. Hi, dude. How are you? I'm good. How are you guys? We're good, good. man. Thanks so much for taking awesome. our call. No problem. My pleasure. Um, so, as you know, I'm sure you know, um, like the uh, social media and Storm has exploded since uh, oh, everybody yeah. learned about Norm. And um, yeah. it's really rare to see somebody, you know, so open and dedicated to their lifestyle. And one of the things we found out, because um, at first, you know, we, when we saw videos of him, we were like, who is this guy? Of course, you know, yeah. like seeing those tit cups and hearing yeah. his, his um, you know, his videos. And then you see the tattoos. And at first it occurs to you, you go like, is this a marker or is this a tattoo? Especially that that one on his head is so fresh. You're like, is this somebody drawing on their head? And then we learned that not only is it a tattoo, but it, you did that tattoo. Yes, sir. <laughs> I did. So how did you meet Norm to begin with? Okay, so uh, I was, it was like a Saturday night, and the owner of my shop that I work at, uh, Dean, he, he forwarded me an email from, from Norm, Slate uh -huh. Pig, uh -huh. and uh, it, was, it was Norm talking in third person, as he always does. Yes. Uh, requesting on behalf of his mistress that uh, he has the word pig tattooed on his forehead. Uh-huh. And he sent us with the with the email. He sent a picture of himself with his uh, the glass cup pit cup things. Uh huh. And I was like, oh man, this is wild! Like, is this real? Like, it sounded like it was this guy was like just trolling us or something. Right. So I responded uh, to him saying I would be his deliverer of pain of pain with pleasure, and I wrote this ridiculous email to him, and he replied right back and said he was excited. And when this when can I tattoo? Him? Wow. Well, let me ask okay, you this. Wow. I have a question about this real quick because, you know, we've seen people um, like we've seen, been sent videos and photos of people with outrageous tattoos. Um, yeah. Is there a thing when somebody requests a tattoo? Do you do you have and they say like, you know, I want on my face or something. Do you have to do you weigh like, is this person stable? You know what I mean? Like that whole idea that maybe a person is there any line where you go like, I'm not going to tattoo that on your head? Yeah, I uh, like if say if it was a, a twenty year old kid who wanted that on his head, I'd say no. Really, but okay. he him being seventy two years old. Yeah, I figured well, you know, he's old enough, and uh, sure. I didn't know him personally at that point, so right. I was kind of anxious to see what he was like as a person, if he was strange, if you know, if he was mentally stable, and he's very normal. He's just, he's kind of like your, your typical grandpa, right. You wow, know, he likes to drink really? beers, he's retired, talks like a normal dude, likes telling stories. So you've you've actually got to spend a lot of time with him now. Yeah, we uh we had plans to go for beers together, but then this whole COVID thing. So yeah. they shut down the bars about uh a week after I tattooed him. 
uh, but we text uh, daily because he, he gets lonely and stuff. So Aww. we become friends and we uh, we communicate on a daily basis almost. He's so- been um, DMing with me and he also does refer to himself in the third person as Pig. Yes. But he's been really nice, really genuine yeah. and um, yeah, just a really nice guy. Yeah, he is. He's a good guy. What? And like I said, if you, if you seen him in the streets and he had a hat on, you just t- uh, take him for the typical old fella. <laughs> right. But if that hat was off, yeah. you'd be like, whoa, whoa, look at this yeah. fucking guy. Hey, so yeah. you mentioned he was retired. What did he do for a living? I think he was a mortgage broker for a bank, for a big bank yeah. up here. And do does, um, does people know that he was into this stuff or is this fairly recent that he's been out with it? Uh, he's been out with it like completely since he's retired. Mm. Uh, but he did, he did lose a job one time at a bank because, uh, his, the, the, the bank manager found pictures of him on the internet and they fired him for it. Uh, <laughs> he thought he was getting a promotion and he went into the office and, uh, the, his boss is like, can you explain this to me? And he turns the computer monitor around and there's a picture of slave pig naked with a pink bow on his dick. Oh, and was normally like, totally yeah, that's a, me. that's a photo of me. Yeah. Um, hanging out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jesus. So, yeah. He has, it has affected his personal life, but now that he's retired, <clears throat> his, uh, his wife, I believe it was his wife. She passed away and stuff. And, all his family's oh. passed away, so he just said, fuck it, I'm just going to go full on with this. Go Wait, so you're saying that he had, like, a, a family, a wife and children and, like, a, some... No, ch- no kids. Oh, okay. No kids. But a wife. And was she into this BDSM stuff, too? Yeah, he refers to her as his dominatrix, like, Aww. the mistress. Oh, and so that's I'm not his sure wife. If it was his wife, but they lived together, and she she was his owner. Aww. Oh, so that's, like, the Miss Talon property thing? Uh, no, I think that's uh, that's his recent one. Oh, that's a recent dom. Okay, yeah, his, gotcha. his, yeah, he has a he actually has a a mistress or owner now, and she lives like three hours away in another city. Okay, because <clears throat> he, but, uh, he yeah, goes. Some go of his posts are like, "I'll blow you," um, like I'll blow obviously blow guys, and I'm like, "Oh, so is he like a, you know, an open gay guy?" But it's it's actually all tied to his like BDSM stuff, right? Yeah, he just likes to, like, I guess, uh, be humiliated. Right. That's his thing. Humiliation is his, his thing that he does, I guess. That's what gets him off. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So and I don't it, think he's gay. Uh, we haven't really talked about his sexuality. Right. But um, I'm pretty sure it's just all humiliation stuff. Have you seen his poutine video? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I've seen, I've had so many people sending me stuff, people I know sending me stuff that they've seen with Slave Pig, and uh, there's some there's some weird shit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is kind yeah. I got to tell you, it's kind of, you know, at first when you see him, you have shock, right? You're kind of like, yep. what oh, the yeah. fuck? And then I think the more stuff that I've seen about Norm, I kind of really respect the fact that he openly is himself like it's it's very authentic so it is it's hard to be like that i mean i'm still you still go like holy shit but it's like a genuine guy he's just genuinely oh, into yeah. this. he loves it mm-hmm. yep that's just his thing he's been into it since he was 16 and uh you know that's what he likes doing that's what makes him happy so i respect that yeah and you said you have like you just have normal conversations with him yep yeah we just talked about stuff about life him getting bored and you know, um, get, be excited to get out again. Uh, we talk about, you know, the social media stuff that's happened to him. And there's also, like, bad things that have happened and it's hurt his feelings. You oh. know, he's, he still has feelings and people saying that he's, like, a serial killer or call him a pervert and sick in the head and stuff like that really affects him. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I mean, have you... Man, so did you did you come up with that um, the tattoo that he has in like is that your first take? Were you like, hey, here's an idea for it? Uh, I drew like uh, I think like four different designs for it, uh-huh. and he picked that one. But then he had requested I put a pig snout in the middle of the loop on the G. Yeah, it's it, dude, it's badass actually. I mean, yeah. for what it is, Thanks. yeah, you're a talented artist for sure. Thanks, um, man. Appreciate yeah, that. that's very cool. Um, have you ever had? 
Like, what's the wild? Like, he seems like a you know a wild dude, and that's kind of a wild request for someone to you know. I mean, like, yeah. not every day someone's like, "Hey, man, would you go ahead and, and throw pig on my fucking head and put it snout?" Yeah. Have you? Is that the most outrageous request you've had for a tattoo? That's that's the most outrageous. Now I've done yeah. a few bizarre tattoos. What's like that's a? Definitely. What's another bizarre one? Uh, last year I was at a tattoo convention and the guy had requested that I tattoo a Bud Light can on his ass. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. And with a platypus, like a cartoon character, some platypus from a cartoon. Yeah. Standing yeah. on top of it. Uh-huh. So I tattooed that on his ass at a convention and, uh, I've done a few face tattoos on, you know, people who want to be gangster, like money signs and stuff. And, that's yeah. it, man. That's so crazy. I think uh, it's so have crazy. Have you seen like a, a drastic increase in people doing facial tattoos? Oh, yeah. 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 What do you attribute that to? Like, uh, I would attribute it to uh, SoundCloud rappers for sure. There you go. To what? SoundCloud exactly rappers. Music. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah. That's so lame. You see a lot of kids these days, like younger kids, they only want face tattoos and hand tattoos. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, generally I wouldn't, if someone didn't have, wasn't heavily tattooed, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. But it all depends on, you know, it's your own ethics in tattooing right. really. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, do you let's... see, hold on. Do you give him any barbed wire tattoos anymore? No, I've, I've never done a barbed wire tattoo. <laughs> oh, okay. do you refuse it? If someone's like, can I have one? You're like, yeah, I don't do that. Yeah, if someone wants tribal armbands or something, I tell them no. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not it's like happening. it's like the calling card of the douche, right? <laughs> Someone's like, oh, yeah. I, I want barbed wire. I'm dangerous, yeah. man. I like wrestling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like wrestling. <laughs> 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 totally. Oh man. Well, this is fascinating. I'm glad wow. to put like some humanity to. Um, to norm um it's it's, yeah. it's an absolutely fascinating person and i think we're gonna do more of a deep dive i asked him to come on he said he doesn't want the uh the wide publicity but he was he said he got, had a good laugh out of it out of the podcast we did yeah oh yeah he, he loved it he sent it to me the as soon as he's seen it that's hilarious. and uh he, yeah he likes it uh, i think he's just hesitant on going live with things because sure he's just worried about people uh, the negative stuff. Yeah, I understand. Well, if you could tell him that we're nothing but respectful and we love him and we're fans and we would never make him feel uh, bad. Yeah, if himself. he ever wants to come on, we're happy to have him. This is the show you want to be on. Yep. Believe me. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. A lot of people know you guys. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're big fans of Calgary. Um, thank you again for taking our call, man. Appreciate it, Derek. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, let's, um, let's, let's, yeah, let's plug your Instagram. Plug your is show, it is it D I N Y E R O? That's right, yeah. All right, um, go to at D-I-N-Y-E-R-O on Instagram. You can see Derek, very talented artist in uh, Calgary, and he's the, the, the man who tattooed Pig on Norm's head. And it's an yeah. amazing piece, man. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Thanks, I appreciate it. Appreciate call. it. Take care, brother. <laughs> you have a good day. You too. Bye. Wow. Canadians are so sweet, aren't they? Very much so, yeah. I love them. Um. Have you seen, is, is poutine in here or no? It is. <laughs> it is so wild. Let's look at poutine. Now, uh, one of the things, this is actually uh, um, an important point. We have uh, our membership page, and I, I want people to know that the, 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 if you do channel membership, it is, the, the main thing is we're just delivering you an early, uh, as often as we can, ad-free experience. That's what we're trying to do. That's it. Uh, the stuff about something being censored versus not censored. If we can't show it on YouTube, um, you know, we, we just, it's because they'll take it down. And the channel membership just allows you, if it's very graphic, you still have to throw a blur on it because they'll still take it down from there. So that we're not trying to like hide it from the, the real, you know, the feed and then show it there. It's not like a bait thing. It's just that we're not allowed to show certain things on YouTube. And we can only somewhat give you a hint of what it is on the channel membership. I'm just letting, making it clear that's what it is. If you want an ad-free experience, that's what channel memberships are. This, I'm guessing, we're not allowed to show a lot of on either. Yeah. So 
So for the YouTube, we're just going to see your reaction. So just go ahead and over describe what you're seeing because it's not going to be blurred for you guys. Right. Okay. But, but you know, if you go to the channel membership, we're going to lightly blur it because we got to do what we have to to not get it taken down. Okay. But, you know, that's what's going on with this next video because it is insane. Okay. All right. Now, so, hold on. What's that other guy we were texting back and forth with Ela and Ethan the other day? Um, that guy who, um, remember, he, he also oh, was oh, like, hey, oh, happy you're birthday, You're talking about uh, Naked Martin. Yeah. 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 Is poutine going to be worse than Naked Martin? I actually haven't seen poutine. Oh, so I just I got a, a I, s I stayed away from poutine on purpose. OK, because I've been um, I, I watched Zolo prepare the clip. I oh, think, and I saw his face. And how did it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 I did remember that last week when this clip arrived, it was during lunch. Nadav pointed out, oh, we have this clip. And then I was like, why don't you watch it? And he's like, well, I'm eating. And I was like, come on, man. Yeah. Do you it. work here or not? This is YMH. And, um, and then you watched it, right? Yep. What did you think? Uh, I lost my appetite. For real? Well, <laughs> yeah. I sat with you guys for like 20 minutes just looking at my food. <laughs> yeah. The best part is he goes, when, when you asked him to watch it, he was like, oh, I just took a bite of my no, food. Like, I, I just like, started eating. I was like, I haven't <laughs> even eaten yet. And you're like, I know. <laughs> Like, it doesn't even matter for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which is fine, you know? I'm That's sorry, okay. Nadav. Do I need to g give you an apology for today? Did I hurt your feelings? <laughs> okay. No, I'm serious. It's a Did trap. I? It's no. a trap. Uh, yeah, you're fine, dude. You're Don't. doing great. <laughs> Keep doing you, dude. Don't fall in the trap. I love you. <laughs> All right. Hello. Today we're going to make French Canadian poutine fries. What are poutine fries? Well, poutine fries are basically your fries, cheese, and a great appetite. Oh, I do love poutine. So they oh. can see this, right? They'll see this? They'll see this first clip. That shit is delicious. Okay, that sounds great. However, there's going to be a bit of a change to the recipe. Everybody likes to change the recipe up. Okay. These ones are going to have fries, cheese, pig shit, and pig piss. Ooh, it's going to be a treat. He looks really happy. He, d I, you know what I will say. I do like that. Is the glee on yeah. his face? That's and how I feel. At seventy some years old, how old to have glee in your life is pretty fantastic. Yeah. I mean, how many moments of glee do you have? In I'm your having 40s? one right now. Yeah, because <laughs> of him. <laughs> I know. Because of his joy. He's making me happy right now. Yeah, same. Okay. Okay, so let's get let's get things happening. Okay. Yeah, see. Hey. Right. Okay. We'll pee on the fries first. What's on his peener? He's got a, a, a like a chastity. All oh, right. Nice how can he pee through that? So he doesn't get hard in it. All oh, right. Butter squirting out on the. So he's peeing oh, on no. the fries. So he's peeing so on the poutine. Around. Oh, he's. So he's got a cage over his dick, and he's peeing like through the cage. And it's in a dog bowl. It's in a dog the bowl. The fries are in a dog bowl. Or, right, 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 right. So okay. far, so good. So far, so good. It's delicious. Give the main ingredient. Hey, some pig shit. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. He's sitting on it in a diary. Oh, yes. That's going to be a nice little gift, eh? Oh. Shake it off. There, isn't that beautiful looking, hey? Stop. Hold on, I gotta process. Oh, wow. There have been a few videos in my life that have changed me as a person. How far did you make it last week? Uh, right, right, this, right when he shits into, onto the french fries, that's when I was just like, I'm gonna finish this later. You know what? I'm gonna make Zolo, I'm gonna make Zolo prep this clip. And then, and now... <laughs> I'm also able to teach them that, you know, sometimes you got to prep stuff you don't want to watch, <laughs> <laughs> which is a big part of working here. Wait, Tom, can I ask you a question? <laughs> I love you, babe. I love you. This is why we're married. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Wait, can I? Can I ask you how fortuitous it was that it came out of his butt like gravy? 
How did he get it to be mush? Like, oh, did he know he wouldn't have God. a mush? It's mush. I'm gonna throw up. It's not that bad for me. I feel like I it see kids worse. poop every day. But he, he's gonna eat it, right? I can't. I can't. Well, there's a couple more ingredients that he has to add first. I don't want stop, puke. stop, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> Let's just. So just for now, those, he's pooped he on the fries. <laughs> I might throw up. I might throw up. No, don't throw up. You have to watch it. What is that? Oh, cheese. This is the he's putting cheese, the cheese on the cheese and it's bouncing the right off of it. Is there a trash can? It's no, bouncing right off of it. No, don't puke. Don't. No, don't puke. I might throw up. No, stop. Don't puke. No, I'm going to. Give my me a trash phobia. can. No. Stop. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bring it to me. Thank you. <laughs> I might throw up. I'm serious. So does that mean we're playing more clips? <laughs> I mean, it, it looks like you're ready now to keep watching. <laughs> Is that the first time you've puked on this show? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, my God. I can't even look at the screen. I think we should keep going. So Zolo... What, what did Solo say? He had a real Come on time, in. Man. Come in. No, no. It's fine. I'm not puking. I'm not puking. I didn't puke. It's good. You're fine. I won't puke. I didn't want to. I wasn't trying to. No. No. <sighs> It doesn't look that bad. The poutine oh. doesn't look that bad. The way that he made it perfect, the chili came out perfect, and then he put the cheese on it, it's not bad. Like, it looks like he's just eating chili. <laughs> and just keep on going. Go ahead, play the next clip. Oh, well, Jesus I'm not Christ. That, I, I mean, I see, pee, I see poo all day, every day. It's not that crazy. I'm trying, I just got to gather puke. myself. <laughs> okay. Don't. I don't want him to eat it though. Please don't eat it. So you have to eat no, some no, sure no, Norman. No. Somebody just take right in there. No. Up right here, hey. Ah. Now you see why being French Canadian is so good, hey. Ah, look at this great turd. Cheese crusted shit. Ah. Ah. That was just dry heaves. It's okay. You can come back. Christina. Come back. I didn't vomit. No, I didn't. I didn't vomit. I did not vomit. Okay, I just dry heaved. Okay, but I didn't throw up. Okay. Watch the duty clip. All right. Well, let's not watch him eat no, it. No, he's done now. He's done. He's done. You're upsetting me. I mean, what do you mean to do? I don't want to watch him <clears throat> eating it. I know. He's done, I said. Okay. All right. <sighs> Thanks, Norm. <laughs> Put your earplugs in. No. There's no more. Don't dry heave again. All right. I'm not going to try. If you fucking dry heave again, I'm going to quit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
Okay, we've had enough of this, right? Uh, no, I don't want to watch it anymore. Life. Are you done? I'm, I'm done. Uh, I can't oh, see God you. Should end. End he, it all for you. He's, he's, mm, thank you. I'm done. I'm done. French poutine fries. Well, I, you know what the problem is, with Norm? He's thanking his goddess. Is that he's I'm so sweet? Hold on. I don't know. Mm, I can't see mm, him mm, eating mm, it. Uh, no, just listen. Nope. <sighs> Well, I've got to go and eat these things here before they get too cold. But thank you, Goddess Suzanne, my Asian goddess. Thank you for allowing me to make you some French poutine Quebec Canadian fries. Mm. Oh. Now, I've got to go. Yes, these are going to be so good to finish. Do you care now? I love you, Goddess Suzanne. Bye-bye. That was quite an experience. I mean, how did you feel watching it yourself? Um, you know, it's really interesting prepping drops for this show. <laughs> is that you find that you have new threat? You constantly discover you're like, oh, I have a new boundary, or like, <laughs> I have a new thing that I'm not willing to. I didn't know that I was so strongly against doing this, and then you realize like, oh, I guess I could overcome these emotions and still continue to prep this clip. I've never enjoyed vomiting so much. Like I <laughs> Did you vomit? Uh, no, I just like a little <clears throat> a little bit. Well, throw it away. I don't want to smell it. It's not it, there's no real vomit vomit, you know. Just like some phlegm. Like the septic tank video was the first was the first time I ever actually like dry heaved while prepping something. You did, which happened this year. So it's it's re which is weird. Didn't this make you or no? This one's hard. Well, I made Zolo prep this. Oh, you stopped. Well, I was I did enough. You ruined my lunch last week. I'm like I did my part. <laughs> I think the septic the septic tank's worse for me. Really? Because really? Because he put it this this thing of like you wash your face. I don't know, man. If you saw the, the, the I think it's the fifth <laughs> clip, uh, cheese bouncing off poop. If you play that one, you see the cheese just not mixing at all. That's pretty fun to watch. It just bounces off of it. Fuck. Oh, you just watched a highlight from your mom's house. And if you want to see more, just watch one of these videos or highlights here. And definitely subscribe here. That way you can be kept abreast of all the brand new. Yes, I said the word, Tom. Don't judge me with your eyes. Try it out.